My name is Nicol Cameron and I was commissioned into the Royal Regiment of Artillery in 1961. There are a number of regiments in Scotland. They all contribute to the overall capability of the British Army. If, as it's being mooted, they should be detached from the British Army and formed into a Scottish Defence Force. What is that Scottish Defence Force going to be capable of doing? Not much. What is going to motivate the Scottish soldiers? How on earth are they going to be trained? I think it is absolutely nonsensical to break up the United Kingdom. The United Kingdom is a political grouping many, many parts of the world respect. My name's Anna Gardner and my brother is serving in the Navy at the moment, he's away. And this is Jack, who is my nephew, my brother Scott's little boy. I'd be worried about the future of the armed forces if we were to be independent. Um, Scott wouldn't have such a, a great opportunity. I'd worry what kind of chances he'd get to, to do what he's doing now. What did Dada work on? Jack? A boat. Consider how different it might be and the, the challenges and problems that might arise if uh, Scotland were to be independent. My name's Andy Inslee. I'm a former Royal Navy officer based on Martin Hunters in Faslane. I joined the Navy in 2003. I was looking to do a job a little bit different on leaving university. When a lot of my friends were off into the city, I thought I wanted to serve my country and see some of the world and make a difference. I served with people from all over the United Kingdom, got to work with people from all over the world. My wife, who I met, was also serving the Royal Navy at the time. She uh, hails from Fife, so we are a united relationship brought together by the armed forces. And uh, over that time, it has been great to see you know, how people from all over the United Kingdom came together to work you know, on united projects uh, and as one team. Where you came from didn't make a difference, it was what you could do. My name is Paul Crosby and I served in the 1st Battalion of the Royal Scots of the Royal Regiment. My name is Amanda and I served in the WRC to start with and laterally the Adjutant General's Corps. I think it's really important that the British Armed Forces have a future. And stay, um, as, and the stay as the British Armed, Armed, Forces. Armed Forces. I worry first and foremost about the pensions, uh, the military pension, how would Scotland be able to um, continue to pay the, the military pensions that are paid to, to Scots they forget about the support elements. It's not just the infantry that's involved. There's, no. there's the clerical staff, there's the catering staff. The support, if you, if you, there's if you... the engineers, the, the remi, the air corps. There's, we would ha Scotland would have to be able to provide all of that. I'm Frankie Caldwell, spent 27 years with British Army, served in the Royal Tank Regiment, various places throughout the world, um, United Nations tours, most recently in Iraq. I wanted to be um, part of something different, something that wasn't um, available to me uh, at home. Um, I wanted to travel the world, I wanted to see places, I wanted to do things, I had ambitions to achieve something in life. In terms of the independence debate, there's a number of concerns that not only I have, but my friends and colleagues and former colleagues of the armed forces have, and that is, what will a future defence force in Scotland look like? The only way we can ensure the future of our armed forces is by remaining in the United Kingdom by having a resounding no vote come the 18th of September 2014. That's the way to ensure that Britain will always be protected and Scotland as part of Britain will fall under that umbrella of protection. We're rightly proud of our armed forces. They've achieved so much in two world wars and also keeping peace throughout the world. The MOD employs something like 18,000 people in Scotland. Nearly 5,500 people support them, shipbuilding. These are important jobs, not just for protecting ourselves, but also because of the skills and expertise that they can contribute to Scotland. There's no sense in breaking up Britain. There's no sense in tearing our armed forces out of the British Army, Navy and Air Force. We are better and we are stronger together.